My name is Alice. Getting ready to start the second half here in Huntington where the herd leads Temple by a score of 21-0. Joined now by Marshall coach Bob Pruitt. And coach, your comments on the first half and what kind of adjustments you're making for the second half? I just thought we lost our intensity a little bit in the second quarter. And uh, just got to keep that up. Got to keep playing great defense and uh, put the ball in the end zone and see if we can put these guys away. All right, there it is. Marshall coach Bob Pruitt. Keith? Thank you, Chase. Our bank one halftime statistics. Marshall overwhelmingly in favor of 18 first downs, rushing yards, the herd with 86. Passing yards is where you'll see the big difference. 266 for Chad Pennington. 75 total yards for Temple and turnovers. One interception and one fumble. They ruled the David Foy catch and drop a fumble. And let's check our first time, first half highlights now. Sonny Chad Pennington straight to the air on single coverage. Man to man. Makes Temple pay. This time he does a nice job of giving off inside and Doug Chapman over the top. Or Chapman smelling the end zone. Nice job of improvising here to look. This is the interception, or rather the fumble and then the interception. Ball never hit the ground and then Low Turner with the 47 yard catch and run. Pennington just before halftime. And Joe, this was a nice job by Kevin Harvey out there. Again, one of the best athletes on Temple's football team to get a great interception. And we are back to live action here. Another 30 minutes of football. Temple will get it first. Back deep to receive for the Owls is number 20, Matt Johnson, a junior from Philadelphia. J.R. Jenkins to kick it off for the herd. Jenkins with a high deep kick, but Johnson will have a chance to return it from his two yard line. And Johnson immediately corralled there by George Miller on special teams. Joe, I've always felt like uh, the uh, first possession kind of sets the tone for the second half. No doubt. You have, well, how you come out of the locker room, whether you're breathing fire or not, sure means a lot to the temple of the football game. Thought it was interesting, Sonny, what uh, Coach Bobby Pruitt said, that he thought his team had lost its intensity. Kevin Scott's numbers in the first half. First and 10 from the 16-yard line. Four wideouts for Temple. Villard in motion. Scott gets it off. Nearly, it is intercepted, but out of bounds is number 21 for Marshall. That is Terrence Tarpley. That was a nice pick. <laughs> it was on the wrong side of the sideline. By the strike. Greg Muckerson had his hands on it, but couldn't make the grab. It was a little too high. Second and 10 now for Temple. Muckerson has been quiet tonight. 11 catches coming into the game. Four wideouts again. This time the inside handoff. And it was snuffed out very quickly by the Marshall defense. Paul Toviesi was there. Here it is, Temple trying to make something happen. Coming off on the football, but they forgot to block one player. And it winds up being a loss for Temple. Jimmy Parker got the penetration as well. And he and Toviesi combine on the stop. And that's El Marco Jackson on the far sideline. Those that's ankles not, are bothering him. Not a good sign for Temple. He's their star running back in there. Third and 13 for the Temple Al Scott now with heat. Going up top deep. And it is too far. Double coverage out there on the intended receiver, Muckerson. So it was three and out for Temple, and they'll have to kick it away. Awfully tough to throw downfield against a two-deep zone. Michael Owen, Sonny, coming hard to Devin Scott. 
I think Scott was just throwing the ball away. Nobody was going to get this one. Purdue now to punt it. A nice high spiral. And the herd will let it drop. Down right there by Jason Davis. And the Thundering Herd will take over for its first possession of the second half. I'll tell you, Temple University really had not showed very much in that possession. I mean, Devin comes out and throws the ball almost through the receiver's hands on the little out. And then going downfield against uh, deep covers like that, I, I really question why he did that. Uh, even though he's maybe got the only receiver out there, uh, that's a tough throw to make. First and 10 from the 44 now for Marshall. Three ride outs. Tailback is Doug Chapman. Chapman gets a couple of yards, but LeVar Talley is there. Temple defense opening up with a pretty good stand. Again, at the point of attack, clogging up the hole and for maybe a one yard or maybe two yard game. Temple has done a much better job against the run tonight. Marshall would like very much to get down in that end zone one more time, and if they do, I think that's probably all we'll see of Chad Pennington, the great quarterback of the Marshall football team. Second and eight now, Pennington to throw. Over the middle, he's got Nate Poole. Nate Poole gets away. Poole down the 24-yard line. Joe, you know when you get that much time to throw the football, if you got a quarterback like Chad Pennington, he's going to eat you alive. This is a great job up front. He has all kinds of time. You know, when you can see that clear down the field as a quarterback with the alley open right up in front of you, he's a dangerous person, especially with his talent. He does a marvelous job of looking off receivers. Nate Poole with a huge night tonight. First and 10 for Chad Pennington now. Working from the Temple 25. Poole swing padding out to Lanier Washington, incomplete. Could have been a little miscommunication there. Wanted Washington on the sideline, but not really a whole lot there. Pretty good coverage. Temple coming into the game today, giving up 49 points in the, se in the second quarter. Today, only giving up seven, which is a good plus for Temple defense today. Second and ten, and Pennington wants to throw again. Swing pass to Chapman. But right there is Sean Lacey, who makes the nice stop. Lacey coming up and really making a good hit for a no-gainer or even maybe a loss. Pennington missed just a little swing out of the backfield to Chapman. Nowhere to go. That's a heck of a play by Lacey. Temple has some big-time playmakers in the linebacking unit. Tally, Suman, and Lacey. Third down, 11 yards to go. Marshall with four wide. Pennington, plenty of time. Nate Poole had it, caught it, touchdown. That's great concentration. Pennington has all time. When you give him that much time, Seven step drop. He's got pull. Ball, a little juggling act, pulls it in. Sad part about that, he throws against two deep coverage in the middle. Not supposed to be able to do that. No, sir. Pennington right on the money, and so is Billy Malashevitz. Here it shows him again. A clear look downfield. Pull bobbles it, hangs on. Marshall with the 28-0 lead. My name is Alice. I'm a registered nurse and a grandmother. I, I've always enjoyed a, a little adventure, unlike my husband, Frank. I like to hike. Frank, he likes to putt. <laughs> Personalities retire, our money has to work a little harder. No sense letting it sit around doing nothing. That's Frank's job. For your own financial solutions, call us, Bank One. A new car is a substantial investment, so get the facts. Facts. 
86% of all Corollas sold since 1984 is still on the road. Fact, you can save up to $500 now on dependable Corollas with an options package. And you can still buy that same well-equipped Corolla for less than a comparably equipped 98. That's real value. So talk to friends, ask questions, get the facts, and you'll know. Your best deal is at your Toyota dealer now. That's a fact. For 50 years, WSAZ has led the field in local sports reporting. And now, as a new season begins, News Channel 3 prepares to continue the noble tradition of high school football coverage. <laughs> the official high school football show of the new millennium, Football Friday Night with Keith Morehouse and Matt Shepard. More scores, more highlights, more fun. Friday nights at 11 during News Channel 3 tonight. Number 10, Chad Pennington, now tied 11th all-time with Dave Dickinson from Montana with total touchdown passes in a career. You look at the time he's got. Who runs that post route? And it's another six. Nate Poole having a huge night himself. The 96th touchdown pass for Chad Pennington. He likes that uh, Nate the Great. Jenkins to kick it off. Johnson back deep to receive. Jenkins with the kick off. High kick and Johnson from his goal line. Looking for a spot, finds it, tries to bounce it outside, but he's wrestled down by Ralph Street, who's done an outstanding job on special teams tonight. Devin Scott finds the going tough. He'll have it first and 10 from the 24 yard line. And the Owls sure not looking for three and out. Devin Scott now. Three receivers. And he'll work from the shotgun. Two deep zone. Swing pass, nice job. And Temple with a big gainer. Completion out there to Terrence Stubbs. And that was a nice play for the Owls on first down. Without a doubt, coming out a little shot in the arm. Terrence Stubbs takes the ball, makes something out of it after he catches it. Terrence Stubbs and Marshall's George Miller, both from Chesapeake, Virginia. I'm sure they know each other. Along the football wars. First and ten now. Johnson to throw again. He's got his man again. This time the catch is made out there by Stubbs again. So he's been busy here lately. Well, I tell you, Devin Scott has come out and made two very nice throws. Here he comes back, sets up, a little short drop. He throws the ball right between the numbers. Sear doesn't even have to look up for the ball. He's throwing the ball well coming out in this series. Gain of seven yards, second and three now for Temple. Just across midfield at the 48-yard line. Another swing pass. This time it's Dillard. He's got first down yardage. Close to the 40-yard line. Max Yates on the stop. Boy, it looks like a completely different Devin Scott out there. Well, right there, it gives you to show you, he went through that ball a little bit high, but everything up to then, he's been throwing the ball well. So far, he's moving the team good. I'd like to see him get down and put it in the end zone. Marshall's going to get me on the knee stuff, but they're not going to get him anything deep. No home run ball. Very quickly, Marshall's first team defenders come in, and Maurice Hines on the stop. Greg Muckerson, nowhere to go. Yeah, that's a very tough decision to throw that football knowing you have a defender just sitting out there and makes a great reaction to the football. Sonny, right before that play, Gerardi Mercer came back in. Andre O'Neill came back in for the herd. <laughs> makes a difference when those front liners are out there. Loss of one on first down, second and 11. Herd shows blitz. Scott from the shotgun. Again to Dillard. Again, he's met hard to the ground. There's a fumble. That's going to be a face mask. We got a face mask call up around the 40. A lot of action there. Let the lever referee sort it out right now. But Devin Scott makes that high throw again. 
and, and the receiver has to go up to get the ball before he can even do anything with it. You really expose your receiver's bodies when you throw it high. Bob Pruitt reacting to the call. I'm telling you, it's a face mask. There it is. <laughs> I believe, Sonny, it was Rogers Beckett who got to the play. We'll see on the replay. Pruitt is incensed. Marshall coaches just a tad upset. Can you read lips? <laughs> Personal foul, grabbing the face mask on the defense. 15-yard penalty from the foul of the foul. First down. And it was not incidental, obviously. Let's watch it here, Sonny. That was one of those serious jobs. Where he's throwing the ball, and the receiver has to get There it is, right again. there. Yep, that was Rogers Beckett. That was 15. So new life for the Owls at the 26-yard line. Scott, that one is intercepted by John Grace. What a play by Amazing Grace. Here he comes up. Scott tries to force the football in there. Why he throws the ball in there will have a question mark, but think of, there he is trying to throw it in there and basically had the ball stolen away from the receiver. It was a good interception. There. Terrence left, which was the intended receiver, but John Grace just made the play. And Chad Pennington is back. I'm a little surprised to see him back. Well, I would guess they will try not to put him in a situation where he may take a hit. Hand off left side, Doug Chapman. Doug Chapman, about six yards over the left side. Stop made by Calvin Wilkinson. Tabo again playing the point of attack pretty well. They bounce it outside and gain more yards on it, though. Senior from Okeechobee, Florida, John Grace, always around the football. Temple Isles a little bit on their heels now. You can understand why. Seven yards for Chapman on first down. Booth now fakes it. Greg Kellett, the big tight end with it. He's a load to bring down. First down yardage to the 37-yard line. Sean Martin on the stop. First catch for Kellett on the night. Numbers coming into tonight's game. He had three big catches in that first game against Clemson. And when he gets away, he can make you pay. He is alone. Tampa playing a little deflated right now. <laughs> I mean, uh, not much worse can happen to him a little bit. They've got to suck it up, though. First and ten now. That's Kelly in motion. Hand off to Doug Chapman, who gets nothing there. Backside help on defense by Sean Lacey. Sean Lacey having a pretty good night tonight. Getting around, really reacting to the football, making a lot of tackles. Joe knows when you're down 28 zip, eight minutes left in the third quarter, you got to bow your necks on defense. Here's where the real men come out of him right now because it's very easy. Anybody can give up. And that's the hardest part, staying in this football game. You can't give them any more points. They give Chapman one, so it's second and nine. Shuffle. This time, Doug Chapman has it. Out over the 50-yard line. Second time of the night that play has worked for Marshall. First, low turner. This time, Doug Chapman. A little inside shuffle pass. That'll squat you on defense a little bit. There it is. They caught Temple in the game again, and they give him a natural hole up in the middle. And just the perfect call for the perfect deep, the worst defense. Another look inside shuffle. Awful lot of room for Chapman. He doesn't need a whole lot of room. Calvin Wilkinson almost got his hands on it. Phillips Shepard with the stop, but Marshall out close to midfield. First down now. Pennington looking over the middle for David Foy. And the catch is made. This time he hangs on. The big guy back in the game to redeem himself. David Foy lays out here. Makes a heck of a catch. Pennington seven step drop. Foy on a post pattern. That ball was tipped. Was tipped. You're talking about concentration now. 
Foy had excellent concentration. Sean Martin got his hands on it, but Foy makes the grab nonetheless. First and 10 now. The numbers continue to pile up for Marshall. Hurt will keep it on the ground, bang it inside for a couple, maybe three. Letting the clock wind down. Marshall with the upper hand. Suman on the stop from his middle linebacking position. Taylor Suman, 6'2", 235 pounds, sophomore. Junior, sophomore, and sophomore in that linebacking course at Temple with some promise there. Pennington to roll. Got John Cooper knocked out of bounds at the eight yard line. Cooper. Pennington's going to make you wrong. Boy, I tell you, Temple has just given them plenty of cushion on the outside. You get the cushion, they're going to take it. Pennington, a little pump action. Right down the hole. All the receiver does is just settle a bit. John Cooper. Leon Washington knocks him out of bounds, but it's first and goal now for Marshall at the eight yard line. Look at those numbers. <laughs> Chapman is the tailback. Greg Kellett is in motion. Chapman gets a lead block, picks his way for maybe a yard, yard and a half. Suman is there, so is Martin. Teffel stiffening it up a little bit right there. We've just gotten word that Mac DeVito's injury is a strained right rotator cuff. Well, believe it or not, that's pretty good news. I'm glad to see it's not a separation. Yeah, the operative word there is strained, so that's, uh, that's good for the Temple Owls. So DeVito won't see action again tonight. But hopefully he'll be back next week for the Owls. Second and goal from the seventh. Double tight. Big play here for Temple. Coming out, throw to fade. His intended receiver was Cooper. Good coverage out there in the Temple secondary. Kevin Harvey was over. Little fade action. Harvey all over Cooper. Pennington really didn't have anywhere to go with the football. There's Harvey in that one-on-one -on -one coverage. He shows his athletic ability to stay with just about anybody he plays against. Now, here is a monstrous play for Temple. Third and goal now for Chad Pennington. Here comes a blitz. And it was uh, nicely picked up there by Marshall's offensive line, but Leon Washington had the coverage on Duck Chapman, and the field goal unit will come in. Al's bring a little heat that time. I, that's the first time I really see him come off the corner and really make that blitz work. Here comes a blitz. Here it is, Pennington set it up, and uh, the, the Owls come off the corner. Sean Martin making a good hit on Pennington and making him forced to throw the ball a little bit faster than what he really wanted to. From the 14-yard line, a 24-yard field goal attempt for Billy Malashevitz. Perfect so far this season. Kick it up. Downtown. And it is good. So Billy Malashevitz adds to the Marshall lead with 5.57 to go before the end of the third. Marshall 31-0. You're watching Fox Sports Net. Custom-made doors below lumberyard prices. Building a new home, remodeling, or just shopping for new doors, Tim's Wood Shop in Jackson, Ohio, shuts out the competition with price, quality, and workmanship. Doors made from our area's finest lumber, cut to your specifications. Tim's Wood Shop also custom makes stairway parts, moldings, and hardwood floors. Imagine custom made doors throughout your home from red oak, white ash, or poplar. For the quality and custom made doors, our price can't be beat. Call Tim's Wood Shop, Jackson, Ohio.
Welcome back to Marshall Stadium. Capacity crowd of 30,194 watching its thundering herd roll to a 31 nothing lead here against the Owls. Let's go down to Jason Tui, who's got an injury report with Ron Pucci. Well, it does not look good for Ron Pucci. Concerned about some ligament damage. They're going to evaluate him after tonight's game and see how the rest of the season is going to go for him. But a very big hit for the defensive line for the Thunderbird herd, not to mention an emotional one for the Philadelphia native. Keith? Thank you, Jason. The senior from Philadelphia. We hope for his sake and for Marshall's sake that's not a season-ending injury, but we'll have to see. Jenkins with the deep kick, Temple with the touchback, and they'll take it at the 20. Sophomore from Spartanburg, South Carolina, back out now. Trying to get something going offensively. You know, when you're a coach Wiles in this situation, you just really are searching for something to make a big play. Searching for positives. End around handoff to the wide side and good yardage for Temple. Out close to the 30 yard line. That's Muckerson on the carry. Muckerson is the ball carry. Little trickery here. Man comes in motion. It's a handoff to him in the backfield. He runs around the end. Great blocking by the offensive lineman Leach getting way out in front of the ball. Here's a guy six foot seven, 320 pounds running out in front of that play. Gain of nine yards for Muckerson. Second and one for the 29. Woo! Scott now, swing pass. Nice job of cutting it back inside. Close to first down yardage is Muckerson. I believe it's enough for the first. Just barely. Yeah, he's fine. With me tonight, Sonny Randall, Joe Klecko, Jason Toy, I'm Keith Morehouse, Marshall Football, and Fox Sports Net. Thundering her trying to keep alive that top 25 ranking, doing a good job of it so far. Bobby Wallace trying to build a foundation in Philadelphia. First and ten now for the Owls. This time it's the inside handoff. And El Marco Jackson gets about three and a half, four yards. Still limping noticeably. He's a gamer. He come to play. And I mean your team's down 31 to nothing. A lot of guys go sit on the bench and not really want to play in this football game. Here's a kid with a lot of heart. He's a senior from Sharon, Pennsylvania. And when you've played that long and you're a senior, you don't like to sit out. Showing a lot of guts out there tonight. Second and six now. Scott the throw. Over the middle. Too high. Intended for Muckerson. A little too tall. Yeah, he was open on a play. It would have been a nice catch. But he just threw it a little bit high over his head. Joe, is that a technique problem with Devin Scott? He's thrown uh, several high balls tonight. I think it is without a doubt. I think Devin, a lot of balls sail with Devin, you know, as far as his uh, rhythm, the way he throws the football, he does have a little hitch in it. Third down, six to go now. Four wide. <laughs> Left foot's in motion. Scott going up top. He's got a man out there. Intended for Muckerson. Or rather intended for Dillard. And now it'll be fourth down for the Owls. Just overthrown a tad. Had a shot and took it. I think with a ball like that, though, you need to put a little bit more air under and let the receiver make an adjustment on it out there. I think he tried to force it in there a little bit too hard. When you go with that deep route, you only give yourself the one option. So Temple to punt it away for the eighth time tonight. High kick, kind of a short kick. Washington with it. Tries to turn it upfield. Lanier Washington still on his feet to the 32-yard line. Temple makes the stop. Lapton Thompson on the tackle. We're going to take a break. Marshall leading Temple 31-0. We'll be back after this.
on that silly book. Remember, you go to the hospital tomorrow for those tests. Okay, honey. Good night. <laughs> Roberta Pruitt? Roberta Pruitt. I'm Bobby Pruitt. You don't look pregnant. Well, I'm here to have a baby. I'm here for some routine tests. Interesting. Fill this out in triplicate. The nurse will be with you in just a moment. What's this on? Someone will be with you shortly. Looking for the key to buying a newer used vehicle? Then take the short drive to Moore Auto Group in Williamson and Gilbert, West Virginia and visit the only auto group in the Tri-State region selling new GM, Ford, and Chrysler products in one area. Want the keys to a brand new Chevy Cadillac or O? Here you go. How about the keys to a new Chrysler, Plymouth, Dodge, or Jeep? Here you go. Or how about the keys to a brand new Ford, Lincoln, or Mercury? We've got them. Volume selling, that's the key, and that's the new Moore Auto Group. Any thoughts that we would see Byron Leftwich go out the window here as Chad Pennington trots back out. Chad Pennington with 391 total yards to Temple's 122. That is the story of the evening, Sonny Randall. <laughs> Big time story for Chad Pennington. A story that Temple was no part of. Marshall now from the 31 yard line. Two tight ends. Low turn. Trying to get it outside. Hit hard on the corner there. LeVar Talley was there. Talley on the tackle. Marshall content to keep it on the ground. Well, when you're not being threatened very much, I guess, you know, in the football game, you try and work on the simplest things to eat the clock up. Turner averaging five yards a carry. Tonight. Won't be long before they put it up. Right here, here we go. And Pennington wisely throws it out of bounds. Temple did a nice job of getting pressure on him, and the receivers were covered. Well, that was a jailbreak, <laughs> and all the pressure that came in there, he just smartly threw it out of bounds. Very seldom, Joe, are you ever going to see this youngster do something with a ball he's not supposed to do. Well, that's, I mean, that's just quick decision making. He just seen the jailbreak and figured he wasn't going to take the, the brunt of it, threw it out of bounds. Third and eight now for Chad Pennington. He's wanting to talk about it. Calls timeout. Marshall's first timeout of the second half. Mm. Attention, please. He's just trying to notice what he's seen out there. It was a little different than why he took the timeout, but maybe he was really putting an order in for Burger King for later, huh? <laughs> I think he was putting the order in down at Bobby Pruitt's Steakhouse. <laughs> he'd go a little higher on the hog tonight. <laughs> so he wouldn't have to pay if he ordered Burger King since he was the Burger King star. Well, that's exactly right. You get it all free. He'll well, put things over with Marty Galbraith and then uh, come back in with the play. Once more, we'd like to thank Schlotsky's Deli of downtown Huntington for providing the crew meal for the evening. Schlotsky's Deli, home of the original baked French deli sandwich, 4th Avenue in downtown Huntington. Well, Temple with their true backs against the wall here tonight. There's a look at Marshall's offense. A lot of the first teamers still hanging around in there. Shulo, Cabellas on the line, Jason Starkey. What a job they've done up front tonight. Third down, eight to go from the 33-yard line. Chad Pennington will work from the shotgun. Four wide receivers now. Pennington second here. Four seconds on the play clock. Caught by Low Turner. Turner turns it upfield. Low Turner, close to first down yard. It may just be a little short as we look across the line. Depends on the spot here. Or oh, he got a generous spot. That's a first down. Oh. Another look here, a little dump off. Pennington to Low Turner. Does a little juggling act. 
Turns it upfield, north and south. And that's enough for the first down. Tackle for Temple, made by number 45, Brian West, the linebacker. Pennington's numbers continue to pile up close to 400 yards passing now. And he wants to throw it again. Pennington ducks out of the way and looks and finds his receiver. Brad Weldon with the catch. And when all else failed, he went to his safety valve over the middle. That was about his fourth receiver. He finds a little time. You know, it, it, it goes to show you how good he is on his feet. Temple puts a lot of pressure on him there, and he still finds the open man and puts it the only place he can catch it. Maybe Sunday they wanted to get Chad Pennington 400 yards on the night because that is it for him, and Byron Left, which checks in for the herd. That's Chanston Rogers, the freshman tailback, and he can move. Look at Chanston Rogers turning for seven yards. Joe, when they bring those fresh legs in there, and you got the defense that been out there most of the night, I don't have to tell you what's going to happen. Well, that's what you're seeing. You're seeing that second effort by the guys who are getting their chance, who've been sitting, you know, just biting at the bit to get in there, and here's their chance, and they're going to give it all they got. The Temple's defense being out on their field all this time, pretty hard to take. Productive night for Chad Pennington. Left, which sets him down second and three now. Draw. Chanston Rogers with it. Gets about two yards. It'll be third and about one yard to go for the hurt. Number 73 on the stop for Temple. Dan Klecko. Temple clogging it up in the middle there on that draw again. But they have to stop him here. Joe, not to boast about your son, how heavily recruited was he out of high school? Not too much. They were worried about Danny's height. He had about six scholarship offers, and uh, the best part of this is he liked Coach Wallace, and that's why he chose Temple. Looks like a good fit for both of them. Third and two now. Rogers kicks it outside. Now back inside. He's that's got the first. first. Taylor Suman on the stop. Sonny, what you have to like about this guy, he does not give up. Just when you think they've got him, he continues to churn away. He's some kind of football player. First down, 32. Rogers, redshirt freshman from Danville, Virginia. As Dan Klecko retreats to the sidelines. Pretty good night for the big guy. 22 seconds to go before the end of the third quarter. Leftwich back to throw. He felt the heat, and Leftwich now tucks it. Now he fumbles it and covers it back up, or does he? Nice job by the sophomore to get back a hold of that football. He had lost it for a moment. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. There, there's, a, there's a little bit of a youngster mistake. Oh, yes. <laughs> He pulls it down. Watch him when the ball gets loose. Yep. Carrying that ball like a loaf of bread. The only coach is going to tell him on tomorrow's meeting is put that thing away. He will learn to do that, or he will hear about it, so he gains five yards. We're going to take a break. At the end of three, Marshall 31, Temple nothing. Another big win for the herd. And now a word from the Radisson. Radisson. My home away from home. Great win, great run. Great game, Coach. You were really focused. I think I'll have the stake. That sounds like a winner to me. Change that to six. Make that two of them. Radisson, where the difference is genuine. The field is marked. The battle lines are drawn. It's East versus West with the Mid-American Conference Championship and Motor City Bowl berth hanging in the balance. 
Don't miss a minute of the action as the Mac's best team wear off Friday, December 3rd at Marshall University Stadium. Call 800-843-4373 to order your tickets now. That's 800-843-4373. Don't miss the excitement. Don't miss the 1999 Mac Football Championship. My name is Alice. I'm a registered nurse and a grandmother. I've, I've always enjoyed a, a little adventure, unlike my husband, Frank. I like to hike. Frank, he likes to putt. Of course, now that he's retired, the money has to work a little harder. No sense letting it sit around doing nothing. That's Frank's job. For your own financial solutions, call us, Bank One. Over the past three years, Foodland's awarded scholarships to 30 local students to attend the university of their choice. This year, for each Foodland brand item you buy, a percentage of the sale will be put into a scholarship fund. The more Foodland products you buy, the more scholarships will be awarded. So show your support, choose the Foodland brand, and help send local students to college. Any takers on next year's quarterback spot? Fifteen more minutes of football in Huntington, West Virginia. Bob Pruitt's thundering herd leads it comfortably 31-0. Coach Wallace still trying to find some positives. Yeah, I'd hate to see his brain waves running right now. There's a man thinking himself to death right now. Second and five for Byron Leftwich now from the 27-yard line. Rogers with it, and he is quickly corralled by Pepe Pichette. Pepe Pichette makes a big play there. You give Bob, Bobby Wallace about three recruiting classes and uh, see how tough the Temple Owls are. You know, one of the things that Coach Wallace has been trying to do the last couple of years is he had to clean a little bit of the house of the guys that he re he never recruited and didn't really like there. And he's trying to bring his type of people in. Every coach kind of fits the team with his personality. Weldon in motion. Third down, four to go, and left with a roll. Almost picked off. Intended for Greenleaf. He actually had Weldon for the first down, Sonny. He decided not to go there. We'll get another look. Byron Leftwich on the move. Sprint has his man wide open there. Doesn't pull the trigger. Now he pulls it. Drilled him right into two. Greenleaf really should have caught the ball. Fourth down and four to go. Field goal. And this attempt will be by Jason Witzak from about 43 yards out. It may have been partially blocked, or he just missed it, missed it right, and it is no good. So Temple turns back to herd, and we will step aside. Huntington, West Virginia. You're watching Marshall football on Fox Sports. Network. making a difference we do since you started being a designated driver or calling a cab for a friend or serving responsibly drunk driving fatalities are down 41 percent to all who are making a difference thank you A new car is a substantial investment, so get the facts. Fact, 86% of all Corollas sold since 1984 is still on the road. Fact, you can save up to $500 now on dependable Corollas with an options package. And you can still buy that same well-equipped Corolla for less than a comparably equipped 98. That's real value. So talk to friends, ask questions, get the facts, and you'll know. Your best deal is at your Toyota dealer now. That's a fact. Check out Bill Spurlock Dodge, the number one Dodge store. Save now on Bill Spurlock Dodge with 0.9 financing. New Dodge Intrepid. Bill Spurlock Dodge has now with 0.9% financing on 60 months. 2000 model Neo. Now with 0.9% financing on 60 months. Dodge Stratus. Bill Spurlock Dodge has now with 0.9% financing on 60 months. New Dodge Avenger. Now with 0.9% financing on 60 months. And check out the great selection of Dodge trucks, caravans, and Durango. The 0.9% financing save. Bill Spurlock Dodge. 51 Fourth Avenue in downtown Huntington. Dodge calls Slats. 
Welcome back to Huntington, West Virginia. Temple Owls trying to get something on the scoreboard here as we watch their wide receiver, Sean Dillard, being attended to on the far sideline. He may be done for the night. Bobby Wallace hoping his offense can generate something here. First and 10 from the 26 yard line. And off goes to Godfrey, who's taken down nearly immediately. Nancy Satterwhite was there. Marshall's second team defense is now in. Joe knows when you got to throw it every down, the defense just pins their ears back and comes after you. Yeah, there's nothing about holding them back from being real aggressive. And it goes to show how they're playing, even the second team in there now. Ralph Street, Anthony Beckett out there for Marshall along the defensive front. Two deep zone. Scott now to throw. Satterwhite coming, and he does a nice job of reading it out to Godfrey. Taken out of bounds for a gain of about eight, eight and a half yards. Godfrey was a bit of a workhorse last week in the Akron loss, but in the second half, he really showed promise. Had almost 60 yards rushing it last week in the second half. They gave him eight yards, so it'll be third and two now for the Owls. Another big third down here, Joe. The Owls would like to hold on. Scott wants to roll and throw, and he's got all kinds of trouble. Ralph Street was there, Alonzo Jones, George Miller. The floodgates open up on that one. He takes the ball to go to roll out to throw back, it looked like, but he never had a chance. Once he took a peek backwards, all he seen was green jerseys. Ralph Street with his third quarterback sack of the year. Very active on special teams as well. Radu gets it away. Takes a Marshall bounce. And the herd will take back over at about the 45-yard line. Didn't you say earlier tonight it was a full moon? <laughs> I'll tell you, poor Temple, they can't even catch a lucky bounce with the football on a on a so-so kick. There's the moon we've been talking about. Joe, how much did that loss to Maryland hurt? Obviously, the first game of the year, 6 nothing, and Temple with a chance, really, to get one right out of the gate. Oh, without a doubt of that. You know, they scored in the last 15 seconds of the game, and they called the touchdown back. Left switch to Rodgers. Rodgers across the 50. Sean Lacey on the tackle. You know, we were talking on the outside at the break at halftime today. You know, Merlin going out and playing good ball against West Virginia this past week, beating them 33 to nothing. If Temple would have came out and actually scored that touchdown and won and had a chance last week against Akron, it's not that far off. Temple could have been 2-1 two and up, two and one right now. Makes such a big difference in a young team to get a win and, again, to get some positives. Eight yards for Rodgers. More for Rodgers. Taking tackles with him. Staples on the tackle, but a first down gain for Chanston Rodgers. Again, those fresh legs. <laughs> and right now, the Temple defense fighting for their lives. Rodgers, 5'10", 190 yards, and he doesn't look like a redshirt freshman. First and ten now for Marshall. Brian Greenleaf in motion. Greenleaf has it. But he can't get outside. A nice job of containment by Kevin Harvey. Brian Greenleaf on the carry. Stop by Kevin Harvey. Sonny, that's kind of a freshman mistake. Maybe Greenleaf should have turned it inside because he's got such good speed. I guess he thought he could beat Harvey outside. Harvey's a pretty good football player. Yeah, you're not going to. There's not many players going to have. They're going to outrun Kevin Harvey. As far as the athleticism, he's probably Temple's best. Sideline to sideline, he can cover it now. Greenleaf can fly, but so can Harvey. Yeah. No gain. Second and ten for Byron Leftwich. 
Welded in motion. Rogers, right side. Maybe two. We talked about the numbers Chad Pennington has put up tonight. What about the numbers Chad Pennington has put up in his career? 11,377 yards, 96 touchdowns. That yardage mark puts him in eighth place all time in college football, surpassing, yes, Peyton Manning. Well, I'll tell you, you know, being here at Marshall, they've had some things to look at. I mean, that young receiver they have in the Minnesota Vikings now that came from here. And uh, I think what you're going to be seeing is the, the future of a great NFL player maybe here right now. He's got a chance to be a good one. <laughs> 39. Left which to the air. Greenleaf is there. Just out of his reach. Nice coverage down there by Philip Shepard. So it's fourth and nine, perhaps too far for a field goal, not far enough for a punt. Left, which may just stay out there and they may go for it. Going downtown again. Well, I'm praying that they don't throw the ball to stop the clock again. <laughs> <laughs> Left, which 6'5, 224 pounds. Physical specimen at quarterback. Pick up some heat. They had him and let him go. Leftwich working for the first down. Look at Byron Leftwich go. What a run. Down to the 14 yard line. There's those fresh legs. <laughs> Sonny, I'll be completely honest with you. I didn't think he had great speed. He shows some speed here. Well, he's running for his life. <laughs> Here he goes, that long stride covered a lot of ground. But like Ichabod Crane there for a while. But he knows to go north and south with it. First and 10 now for the herd at the 13. Rogers taking it outside. Nice hit out there on the far side by number 34 for Temple. That's Jason Davis. Temple's still coming to the football late in the game here, being down 31 to nothing. Here it is, just a simple handoff, taking it out wide. Temple's pursuit strings it out. And it makes a good play here. I think Kevin Harvey could have got out there a little quicker if he had that extra weight attached. <laughs> a little water skiing going on there. <laughs> Second and five for the herd now from the eight. Rogers with it, and he is taken down in a hurry. Sean Lacey was there. So was Dan Klecko. Not really a whole lot there. Straight handoff. Rogers. Oh, he's got a lot of company there. Here's the little Klecko. <laughs> Not so little. Boy, he's going to be a good one, I'll tell you that, Joe. You'd be mighty proud of that young man. Yeah, I hope he does. He, I, my wife and I keep our fingers crossed. We're looking for our, our retirement. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> a lot on his shoulders. Third and five. <laughs> Left was to roll. Left was to Weldon. And a nice job out there by Kevin Harvey on the coverage. The field goal time. Byron Leftwich gets it outside. Really not a whole lot there. Harvey comes up big again. Yeah, I don't think he's the guy you really want to pick on for Temple if there's one person out there. Kevin Harvey's pretty short sure tackler, and he does cover some football ground. This time, Malashevitz will attempt the field goal. Be a 25-yarder. Weldon on the hold. Malashevitz on the kick. Good. And it is good. So Billy Malashevich with a 25-yard field goal extends Marshall's lead, 34-0. You're watching College Football on Fox Sports Net. You? Is anybody here? Anybody here? Hello? 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 Hey, hey, where are we going? Where are we going? I'm not supposed to stay here. Where are we going? Oh, oh. 
Bobby, I promise it won't hurt even a little bit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bobby, Bobby, wake up. You're having a nightmare. Oh, Elsie, it was awful. You wouldn't believe who my doctor was. Oh, honey, you need to relax. Remember, you're going to St. Mary's. Creative Kitchens Plus is celebrating. It's our anniversaries. That's right, anniversaries. Creative Huntington is turning the big 4-0, and Creative Charleston is turning 10. That's 50 years of combined service in the Tri-State and Canal Valley. Come celebrate with us during our anniversaries sale and save 40% on beautiful Aristocraft cabinetry. That's right, save 40% on all the many styles and makes from Aristocraft. Visit our design teams today at either location. During our anniversaries sale, Creative Kitchens and Aristocraft, we cost you less by design. Bobby Wallace with 8.16 to go, sending his troops out to battle again. Gave a lot of fans hope last year, as Sonny talked about in the open with that huge win in Blacksburg. Some call it the biggest upset in college football history. You have to kind of research that, and that would bring some argument, but it was a huge win for the Temple program. And a big win when they beat Pittsburgh as well. The guy knows what it's all about. I can promise you, two or three recruiting classes in the Temple Isles, they will be heard from in the Big East Conference. And if he has the endorsement of Bill Cosby, then all is well in Philadelphia. He'd just like to have some of his money. <laughs> the Owls have it now. Johnson with it. Still on his feet, up to the 25-yard line. Andre O'Neill was there. Also for Marshall on the coverage was Duran Smith. Hurd took 442 off the clock and 10 plays, and Malashevich with the 25 yarder. Joe, how quickly do you think Wallace will settle on a starter? Will he alternate the guys running them out, whoever's the hot quarterback, or will he try to get some guy to take charge? I think he'd like to have somebody to take charge, but he's not opposed to swinging guys in and out when they can cause a spark to make him win. Scott to throw. Post pattern. He's got his man who had it and then dropped it. Boy, oh, Coach Wallace just has to be pulling his hair out right now. Happening right there in front of him. Stubbs really had an easy catch to make and just couldn't hang on. There was no reason for dropping that. Curry sets up. No pressure. Sets the street real nice. Has him wide open. Throws it out in the flat. And for some reason, he dropped it. Larry Davis got there. Second down, 10 yards to go for the Owls. Scott's numbers. Scott complete. Satterwhite was on the coverage. Wallace on the catch. Third and seven now for Temple. Well, I tell you, I don't think I've ever seen Temple come up with a, a you know, a second and two, a second and one. It's always third and three or longer, you know, or the third and short yard is always you're never getting an easy first down. It has not been easy for the Owls. Scott. And that was an early hit. Yes. Number 19 for the Thundering Herd. Got there just a bit early. Chris Crocker. Temple catches a break there. That's a timing pattern on the out, on the out route. And uh, Devin made a real good throw on that one, frankly. Pass interference on the defense. First down at the spot of the foul. Here he is, sets up, like I said, a little timing. Strong arms it out there. He's got an arm. The defender there just a little bit too early. First and 10 from the 35. 
four receivers. Heat on the outside. Greg Muckerson had it and then let it go. Again, Devin Scott had to get rid of it. He had some pressure from the right side. He's seen that blitz coming in there. Gets rid of it real nice, though. But for whatever reason, the receiver drops the ball again. Receiver's not giving him a whole lot of help right now. No, they, didn't, they don't seem to come to play here in the fourth quarter. You've got to make those catches when your sophomore quarterback's putting it on the money. Second and ten now. Again, a swing pass. Nice bit of running there. By number 81, that is Wallace with it. Jamal Wallace always seems to do something with the football after he has it in his hands. He's probably one of, if not the premier receiver for Temple right now. And uh, just like there, he gets it to him out in the flat and makes something happen. And when you're Temple, that's what you have to do. Give your athletes a chance to make some plays. Yeah, you know, in defense of Devin Scott right now, he has had a lot of drop footballs. Third down, two yards to go from the 44. Oh, Scott was in trouble, shakes away, and finds Camus into Marshall territory. Bobby Addison had a bead on Scott, but give Scott credit for getting away and finding his big tight end. Here he is. He has a play fake right here. Doesn't fake out Amos there, but makes a great throw to Camus down the field, and Joe turns it up for a positive game for Temple. Big tight end from Huntington Beach, California. Juco with his fifth catch of the season. First and ten now. Temple in Marshall territory. Scott with all kinds of time. Goes inside and another drop pass. Jamal Wallace looking to run, but you got to grab it first. There's it old. Here it shows up again. Devin having plenty of time. Finds a receiver wide open. Jamal's, Jamal Wallace running with the football before he really had it tucked away. Got, a, got to put it away first, Dr. Joe. That's the first thing a receiver learns. Sonny Randall didn't have that problem in the NFL, huh? Mm. Second and ten. Scott, another swing pass. This is Godfrey. Gets to the 41-yard line, or 38, actually, as they go into Marshall territory. 39, it'll be about third and six yards to go. There's that old third and six for Temple again. Al's haven't been down in this territory too often this evening. Just a couple times. Twice, I believe. This is the second time. Joe, you mentioned it. No doubt Bobby Wallace wants to get something on the board. You got to give Scott all the confidence you can get him. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, he's got to he's got to give him plays to where he can make the calls to make plays. Pass out on the flats, and he's got Muckerson. Muckerson has first down yardage, out of bounds. Nice job of mixing it up there. You know, if you look at a lot of plays that Temple turned over today, where they were third and short, I mean real short, where he punted the football, there had to be five situations like that. I mean, Temple is just that little bit of way of making things happen. Like this one here, he really, he throws it out in the flat, and as he runs for the sideline, he's just that far away from breaking it. I mean, uh, it's it's the story of Temple tonight, just a little bit more. Good yardage, though, and first down as Temple continues its foray into Marshall territory. And it is their deepest penetration of the night. Again, it's Godfrey. Hit and then drop there. Trod Bugs on the stop. Believe it or not, that's a good read by Devin Scott. He looks downfield. He Takes his first read and second read and doesn't see anybody and gives it gives it away to run the back as a check off to really try and make something happen. Godfrey was surrounded quickly, but believe it or not, that's a positive sign for uh, Devin Scott. Tell you what, the Temple Owls still playing hard. Yeah, they are. They've come, they've come here in the fourth quarter at least. Second down, 11 to go. Muckerson in motion. Another pass out on the flats. This time, nothing doing there on the stop for the Thunder. We heard number 95. That's Orlando Washington, freshman defensive end from Mann, West Virginia. Here it is, the throw out in the flat. And what they want to do is they want to get the receiver one-on-one -on -one out there. But Marshall comes to the party with too many defenders there, and there's not too much for the 
receiver to go. Another third and long situation for Temple. As Scott's numbers improve. Big one here for Temple. Got now over the middle. Got Muckerson. Inside the 10 yard line. Good catch. A lot of poise there. Yeah, it wasn't. He hangs in there and makes a great throw. Here it is. Setting up. Line gives him really good protection here. Throw down the middle where they've been sailing on him. Here he throws, makes a real nice throw. Muckerson makes a great catch for a big game for Temple. Nice touch on the ball that time. That one he threw well. First and goal now for the Owls. Can they get something here? Scott trying the option left side. Nothing doing. Godfrey is stoned. Credit Chris Crocker out there. And so successful was Scott with the pass, and they tried to mix it up with the option there, and there wasn't anything out there. Joe. Well, you know, running the option in uh, in college football has always been a plus because you get out there on the end and you have a, a couple things you can do for that end. That's why they call it the option. But uh, Marshall just played it real well. A loss of three yards on first down. 2.50 to go here. The herd looking for its first shutout of the year. Temple looking for the first score of the game. Knocked down, intended for a wide open Godfrey. Ball wasn't tipped. That might have gone in the end zone. There's that little thing about Temple's luck again, I think, tonight. Uh, See who got a hand on it. Here he is setting up to throw the football. Makes a little throw out the pit. And, and nobody around Godfrey at all. Uh, Sonny, like you said, he might have had some clear sailing in there in the end zone, but uh, it isn't to be. Looked like Eddie Smolder got it, the freshman from Ripley, West Virginia. So it's third and 13 now. Stubbs in motion. To the end zone for Stubbs. He's there, but it is overthrown. Well, I think they know what they're going to do on this fourth down. They got to go for it. <laughs> I would hope so. Go in the end zone, hope something good happens. Bardan Carter out there on the coverage. Bobby Wallace with the play. Devin Scott now will relay it and we'll see what happens on fourth down. Marshall folks here in Huntington want the shutout. <laughs> Scott will roll. Go it the other way, and he's got some blockers out there. Can he get in? He is stopped there by number 31, Michael Kool-Aid Owens. Is that enough for the first down? No, it was first and uh, goal when they began, so they had to get to the end zone, and Marshall turns them away. With 2.25 to go, Marshall leading 34 0. They'll get the ball back when we come back. My name is Alice. I'm a registered nurse and a grandmother. I've, I've always enjoyed a, a little adventure, unlike my husband, Frank. I like to hike. Frank, he likes to putt. Of course, now that he's retired, our money has to work a little harder. No sense letting it sit around doing nothing. That's Frank's job. For your own financial solutions, call us, Bank One. In a bind, need some extra cash? Having trouble paying your bills? Let Gemstone Jewelry and Loans help you make it through those tough times. We give instant confidential cash loans on almost anything of value. Jewelry, TVs, VCRs, stereos, tools, and much more. Come on in and deal with someone you know and trust. Come see us at Gemstone Jewelry and Loans. We're here when you need us. Gemstone Jewelry and Loans, 137 Fifth Avenue, Huntington, across from Working Man's Store. Why is SK America's suit store? Because we have the suits you want at about half what you'd expect to pay. American Classics, two for $200. Today's Hottest Looks, two for $300. And Italian Designs from Rafini and Fenzia, 
two for 400. S&K has the suit you want for less. Nice suit. After all, you want to look like a million bucks, not spend it. We're S&K, America's suit store. Shop S&K in South Charleston at Riverwalk Plaza and Barbersville at Huntington Mall. Welcome back to Huntington, West Virginia. With this one safely tucked away, Chad Pennington signing autographs. And those may be worth something someday, just like the autographs of the guys right next to me. Sonny Randall, five-time All-Pro. Joe Klecko, five-time All-Pro. Joe, it has been a pleasure to work with you here tonight, and Sonny as well. I'm glad they let me in town. <laughs> Marshall has it, and they will go to their fullback. Byron White. Marshall's defense has been very stingy this season, giving up just 10 points to Clemson, three to Liberty, 16 to Bowling Green, and if things hold true tonight, first shutout of the season against Temple. 7.2 points a game, that's all they allow. That's pretty stout. Get in there, guys, get in there. Hurt keeps it on the ground. Jim Pertee on the carry. Let's check the Budweiser scoreboard while we have a moment. Eastern Michigan all over the zips and somewhat of a surprise there. Ohio University is going to get their first win over Buffalo. UMass and Toledo and the Rockets roll the Minutemen. Western Michigan holding the lead over Northern Illinois. Alabama by a touchdown over Arkansas. Big upset Wyoming over the Air Force. Kent over Bowling Green by a couple of touchdowns. Georgia gets a scare. Third down, five to go now for the herd. Leftwich has it. Leftwich fumbles it. And looks like Temple is on it. And indeed they are. Number 92 for the Owls. Big Russell Newman jumps on it. And Leftwich just has to kind of pack that ball away, Sonny. He hadn't really carried it that much. He doesn't know how to carry it. Yeah, he's going through a learning process right now. Not a good one. <laughs> So you know the Owls will go in the end zone a couple of three times. Tyrone Ditzel there receiving congratulations. Now a shutout in jeopardy here. First and ten from the 28. Scott straight drop. Over the middle. He's got his man. That's Godfrey with it. Bangs down inside the 20-yard line. And our Ashland Oil Bank one player of the game. Not much question here. Number 10, Chad Pennington. 26 for 36, 406 yards and three touchdowns. Chad Pennington, our Ashland Bank one player of the game. I'll tell you, Keith, he's a player. He's, he's a real deal here at Marshall. He can really play this game. And just a tremendous young man as well as we've got a stoppage of play here. You know the Owls would like to get the end zone. There's nothing normally they'd like to take that snide off the board, that's for sure. Remember, Temple shut out in its first two games. Six nothing to Maryland, 40 to nothing to Kansas State. They got the 15 in the second half against Akron and would certainly like to get something here. This is just a little bit of a moral victory for them if they can punch it in the end zone here. It makes the hurt just a little bit less, that's all. First down for the Owls now from the 17. All kinds of heat, Orlando, Washington. And Temple wants to stop the clock, and the big guy from Mann High School. It's just Ali Ali and Frey immediate to quarterback. Orlando Washington, very promising star on the defensive line for Marshall. 
scores from the top 25 today, number seven, Tennessee. The top to 18, seven, 18, and let's look at our West Virginia lottery play of the game. And here it is, Chad Pennington going to his favorite receiver, Nate Poole. And Poole makes a great grab and hangs on for the touchdown. That, our West Virginia lottery play of the game. Look at this. He getting ready for the night. Is that the moonwalk? <laughs> he was doing something there, Sonny. You hurt yourself if you tried that. I would, boy. I'd be in traction. Second and 20 now. This time, Scott with a lot of time to throw. Goes over the middle. It is intercepted, then dropped. Who's got it now? Looks like maybe Marshall has jumped on it. Indeed, they have. It's number 31, Michael Cool Aid Owens. Originally, it looked like the interception was made. And we'll uh, sort it all out for you here. Scott had a lot of time. Ball tip. Now picked. Alonzo Jones had it, dropped it, and very alertly, Michael Owens falls on it. And that will effectively preserve the shutout for the Thundering Herd. Devin Scott and the Temple offense will call it a night. Joe, I'm afraid, is going to be a long plane trip back to the city of brotherly love this evening. Yeah, the guys didn't come here to do this. I know it would be a real disappointing thing for Coach Wallace. Uh, I guess maybe losing DeVito in the beginning of the game was a little bit of a shot that they didn't expect. He really did think he'd come in here and do a little bit better than this, I think. Bob Bruin and Bobby Wallace will meet at midfield. Two great coaches congratulate each other as we're set to wrap things up in Huntington, West Virginia. The final score from Marshall Stadium, the Thundering Herd, 34, Temple nothing. We'll be back to finish things up after this. Monday, that's a day you can win, and then Tuesday, you can play us again, now and Thursday, it's getting better, okay, and then Friday makes four big days, it's lots of fun to play Cash 25, four days a week, Cash 25, big prizes, big fun, a 25 grand lift up. now play the West Virginia Lottery's Cash 25, four days a week. No matter how carefully you play the game, no matter how well you're coached, or how much you train, sports injuries can happen. The same team that cares for martial athletes is here for your favorite athlete, too. The sports medicine experts of University Family Practice and Cabell Huntington Hospital. So, play the game. Do you think you're making a difference? We do. Since you started talking to your children about drinking, teenage drinking is down 45%. To all parents who are making a difference, thank you. It's a better place to live. Welcome back to Marshall Stadium, where the herd has shut out Temple 34-0. And Joe Klecko from the New York Sack Exchange fame. I hope better days are ahead for the Temple Owls. They have nothing but something to look forward to. Hopefully they do better next week. Nice to work with you, Joe Klecko. Thank you, Sonny Randall. Marshall marches on to Oxford, Ohio. Big one next week. Thundering Herd with a resounding 34-0 win at Marshall Stadium. 4-0 on the season. The Owls drop to 0-4. For Sonny Randall, Joe Klecko, and Jason Toy, I'm Keith Morehouse. You've been watching Marshall Football on Fox Sports Net.
20 minutes a pound. You save time because you can cook foods faster. You save money because it uses 25% less electricity than this tiny hairdryer. Now we have a turkey over here that's done. This is about three hours. Mm. This has been in. Mm. I'm going to take out the turkey over here and I want you all to see this. I'll turn off the unit. It really uh, is done now. Lift underneath. Take it out. Oh, look how fast look that came that. out, huh? Is that, is that nice? Even better, folks. Look. These plates slide right off. It's as simple as this. Cool. Non-stick uh -huh. material. Here I have, uh, there you is go. that beautiful? Is that gorgeous? I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to just set it right in here. Fit for a king, huh? huh? We can play the football mm. team. Here we're doing a chicken. It's all self-basting. You don't have to worry about bugs that are outside. You don't have to worry about weather. You don't have to worry about fire. You set it and you forget it. Ladies and gentlemen, Zaki Farms Chickens and Turkeys is one of the largest growers in the United States. Listen to what they have to say. I'm Scott Zaki from Zaki Farms Chickens and Turkeys, and I know chickens and turkeys. And let me tell you something, folks. The Showtime Barbecue is the best thing to come along for cooking chickens and turkeys in years. You've got to get one. Thank you very much, Scott. Look what we're doing over mm, here. Wonderful. Corn and carrots and cauliflower oh, and onions. onions. Mm, all delicious. done at the same time as the chicken. And it hardly gets dirty. Goes right in the dishwasher. Here we're doing everyone's favorite roast mm, beef. Roast beef. Libby, it'll do an eight pound standing rib roast. It's yeah, designed to do big things, but it's a very small machine. About the size of a toaster oven, right? No bigger th from left to right than a toaster Incredible. oven. That's right. It fits in a small kitchen. Mm -hmm. I designed this machine to fit in small kitchens as well as big kitchens. So if you've got a small kitchen out there and you're a single person, this machine is going to be perfect for you if you want to eat healthy. Right. Here we're doing nine quarter pound hamburgers. Uh -huh, it's obvious, eat. though, <laughs> if you have, you're just one or two people in your apartment or house, you're not going to eat nine quarter pound hamburgers unless you have a party. But if you've got a few kids, this is a wonderful, wonderful machine to take care of big groups. What's great about this turkey here, it's all self-basting. You can mm -hmm. see the fat running just off of it. Just cutting the fat. Look at that. Healthy? It's that's what it's all about. Healthy, healthy eating. Healthy eating. Look at this oh, here. Look at, here Mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> the favorites. same time that you're doing the turkey. Mm -hmm. For a holiday season, you do all your turkeys in here, your chickens, your ducks. You saw those two ducks we showed yes, earlier? Yes, I remember. Mm, those those crispy, crispy ducks are wonderful, perfect. huh? Perfect. Four rock cornish oh, hens. Those gorgeous. Takes about an hour and 15 minutes mm. to do this. Mm. It's as simple as that. Mm. And of course, oh, look at this. Here we have our oh. corn on the cob our steamed peas here if you really want healthy food. Now we have salmon steaks, but you can use any fish. You could use tuna, you could use swordfish, and of course, on the top we're steaming these vegetables. Earlier in the show, we showed the folks four whole trout. For if you're a fisherman, a backpacker, a camper. Great as a gift. Great gift idea. You can Look do your own honey ham. hams in here. Self-basting, I'll tell you, cut into They're that. Perfect. Great for sandwiches no as having, well. No temperature right. setting. Now we come to the vegetarian. You get the nonstick basket with it, and you put all your vegetables in. If you're a vegetarian, sprinkle a little uh, lemon pepper on there. You put it in the machine. Half hour later, you're eating the most delicious vegetables you ever ate in your life. So no matter what your diet, you can cook with this. And don't forget, you can do baked potatoes in practically no time. Now, Libby, here's a mouth-watering pork loin roast. This is wonderful. Now, we didn't put anything on this. I put no herbs or spices on it, no marinades. The wonderful. heavier fat falls, falls away, away and doesn't end up inside you here. That's Perfect. great. I've always loved roast beef. Uh, succulent. 18 minutes a pound for medium. So it's about 16 minutes a pound for medium rare. Of course, on the top, you can Beautiful steam your vegetables place. with this tray, or it keeps two vegetables piping hot. Ron, this is an absolutely phenomenal invention. Yeah, it's the, one of the best inventions, if not the best invention I've ever put together in my life. Thank you. Wonderful. Look what's happening over here. Okay. Here we're doing some chicken cordon bleu. We have five servings in there, and cordon bleu chicken is just a, a breast of chicken that's stuffed with one slice of ham, uh, one slice of Swiss cheese, and breaded, put in the machine. Takes about an hour. You can, by the way, do that with veal as well, have veal cordon bleu. Look at this here. 
a leg of lamb. Let me open this up so the folks can see it. This with mint jelly is one of my favorite dishes. Now understand that when you use this machine, you don't have to worry about bugs. You don't have to worry about weather. You don't have to worry about charcoal. charcoal. You don't have to worry about fire. This machine here does all the work. It does it fast. It's a small machine and it cuts the fat. If I move down over here, hot dogs, sausages, kielbasa. This will do 16 hot dogs or sausages at one time. So your kids yeah. will love you. Yeah, right? they're going to love you. <laughs> here we have our kebabs. Uh -huh. And of course, this will do eight kebabs at one time. And you can do meat kebabs, tuna kebabs, swordfish kebabs, uh -huh. chicken kebabs are wonderful. And to put the kebabs on, on the perimeter of the wheel here, there are eight holes.